What's up everybody? Happy Friday Eve to you. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2019. I'm sending you greetings from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I'm training about a hundred pastors and leaders from all across the country. But listen, I've already had my orange juice and I'm still ready to dance, but you know what time it is. It's time to Reflect. So this past weekend I had the great opportunity for the fourth year in a row to be a part of the Women of Worth conference in North Jersey. Well, my spiritual mom, who I met years ago at a, a birthday party of a mutual friend, Vanessa Newton, and um, they became my spiritual parents, they being Carol and her husband Vic. And they've been doing this conference for over 20 years. And this was my fourth year being invited back. And I did a few other extra things this year, just as far as operations and just media with my amazing team and my amazing media director, Alex. And I think about how exhausted I was. I'm, I'm when I say exhausted, I mean, this is this is my reflex. So this is my personal diary because I'm still kind of exhausted from it. I'm talking about exhausted. I mean, I mean body parts I didn't know existed were hurting. I mean parts of my feet that I didn't know existed they were hurting. So in the midst of all that, I felt like kind of Dorcas Tabitha. In the midst of doing good, she died. Well, I thought my feet were gonna die. I put on these little royal slippers because the theme was royalty, and man, my feet were hurting. And someone said to me, "Listen, I peeped those shoes, and those shoes were wonderful, but it taught me the lesson, Pastor Pierre, that royalty comes with a price." And that's so true. And with that royalty, I also thought about this. Yes, there's a price to 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 be paid for every level. For every age, for every stage that we are on. But God always sends help. I thought about all the conversations that I had this past weekend, and even conversations that I've continued to have this week about the conference, just about God in general, and the moves of God, and how God maneuvers, and how God is strategic, yet He is creative, that, that God says, listen, let me make man in my image and in my likeness. First He created man, uh, 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 but then He's so strategic that he said, I'm going to make man, but I'm going to make him like myself. So whenever they need something, they don't have to call and cry and wait for me. They can just decree a thing and that thing shall be done. So we've been talking about just the awesomeness, the thisness of God, that whatever you need, God is this. If you need this, God is that. But thinking about it, how God always sends help. There's an old song that says he's an on-time God. Yes, he is on time. Y'all, 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 y'all know that song? Okay. Uh, but it's, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on time God. That's what I've been thinking about. Carol and I, Carol Blum, the founder of Women of Worth, she said something just even about our media team and she was saying, how God sent help. I thought about words that were given this weekend from all the speakers, from Carol, from, from Vic Blum, from Chris Reese, from Pastor Peter Bruno, from the worship with Angel Carlos and her team, and, and even from this little stuttering boy who they thought was special growing up. So, uh, because I didn't want to talk, because I didn't want people to make fun of me, because I slurred over my words and I stuttered so badly. So they had special aides walking with me to every class in elementary school, and then in middle school they put me in special class says, yeah, but guess what? People came up to me this weekend and, say, and said, God sent you as my help. I got the answer that I needed. I got deliverance. What? The helpless became the help. Moses, I need you to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses said, listen, I wasn't always so eloquent in speech. God responded to Moses and said, well, who gave you the mouth to speak? The helpless become the help. It points back to that original thought in this reflect video. God always sends help. Pastor Anita Wright said a few weeks ago at the Inlet Gathering that God says to us, I've always had it. And she went through scripture over and over and over again about all the times that it looked like all hell was going to break loose and uh, it was you were down for the count. But God says, I've always had it. And if you think about your own life, I want you to hear the whisper from God saying, I've always had it. I had it when you had to file for bankruptcy. I had it when you got that bad report from the doctor. I had it when that loved one lost their life unexpectedly. 
I had it when friends betrayed you. I had it when that loved one just walked out on you and said they weren't going to support you anymore. I, I had you and I had it when that job let you go. I had it when you went through that issue at that church after you had served faithfully for 15 years. I had it then in the same God who had it then. He has it now. What is my point? As you get ready to go into this week and understand this, and I need to remind myself of this because I'm exhausted down here in Pittsburgh. God always sends help. So make that declaration that if you need help, help is on the way. But by faith, you declare that help is not only on the way, help is here right now. Yes, there's a war going on in the heavenlies, uh, but there's an archangel who's coming down with backup. My God, and uh, you've got help. You are both king and priest. Kings have subjects, angels, heavenly hosts that do God's word. Priests have access to the presence of God. In the presence of God is everything you need. Help is here. Receive the help of the Lord. Father, we agree with you this weekend that everything you have for us, you know the winds that we need when we need them. So let the, let the winds blow this weekend. We receive your help in Jesus' name. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.